Hey, welcome to Flatbread Friday. I had some leftover barbecue pulled pork that I made a while back. It was in my freezer for a long time and I decided that I wanted to play with it. Here's what we look like. It's the best pulled pork I ever made and I've been saving it for a while and now I'm gonna use it up. And today we're gonna do some barbecue pulled pork pizza cups and let's get it done. For our crust, we're gonna use a Pillsbury pizza crust and because that's nice and flat and we're gonna cut it into pieces and top it and bake it and eat it. pizza dough on a work surface and I'm gonna bake these cups in a muffin tin so we're gonna cut them into circles this might be a little small but I didn't roll this out so we can roll out the circles Well, that one didn't cut very well, but we'll get her done. I've decided to use a knife to help completely cut them. Work our way around, get her done. Our circles are all cut out and there's some extra dough. I'll figure out what to do with that. I might need to use it for some of this stuff or for something else. So we're gonna, we're gonna start by inserting our circles 
into the muffin tins, stretch them, round them out a little bit, press them up the sides a bit and across the bottom. That'll be good. Okay, we're all back in now, and the oven is preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna par bake these guys, and we're gonna poke them up so they don't get too air pockety. Okay, now we're gonna press them back in and put them in the oven. Our cups are par-baked, and this is what they looked like when they came out of the oven. So what I did with the rest of them was to take a glass or a vase and press down the middle and that works. Now we have our nicely formed cups ready to fill. We're gonna start by putting a little bit of shredded mozzarella in the bottom of each cup. Our mozzarella is in and next, okay. Now that our cheese is in, it's time for our pulled pork. I'm gonna switch over and do this with my hands so I can get more in there and shape it up better. This will definitely work better. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this because these cups don't hold much. Maybe I'll just have a regular pulled pork sandwich. Okay, we're gonna keep going until they're as full as possible. Our pulled pork is in, ready to go. And our final step before we go back in the oven is a little cheddar cheese topper. Cheddar goes good with pulled pork. Now it is time for our pulled pork pizza bites to go in the oven. 10, 15 minutes or so at 400 again, and we'll see what they look like when they come out. Our barbecue pulled pork pizza cups are out of the oven. Looking good, smelling good, and now we're gonna serve them up. My theory is that these will just slide right out of these cups pretty easily. And yep, that's working. I think two will be enough for me. I like this one next too. Here we are on our little appetizer plate. And so yum. Now it's time for a little dollop of our coleslaw topper. Give it a little tang, a little zing, a little crunch. Pour it 
organize it so it doesn't make too much of a mess. Like I said, I wanted a purple. Here we are all topped up and ready to take a bite. Thank you for joining me for this week's edition of Flatbread Friday. And this is not exactly a flatbread, but it's gonna be a yummy snack. And you eat a few of them, it could be a yummy meal. And we're going in. And just as I expected, they taste so good. And that's gonna make a nice din-din for me tonight on this hot and what's gonna soon be a thunderstorm night. So we'll see you again soon.